Hello everyone, welcome back to my next tutorial in Creo Parametric. In this tutorial, we are going to see the assembly module which is Oldham old coupling. First, we are going to use a part modeling to model these two components. Then we will go for the assembly module to assemble this component. To model this one, first go to the Creo Parametric, New, Part, Solid, untick this Use Default Template, Save OK. Here our, our units are in MM, choose MM part solid absolute, save ok. Then we just set the working directory, Bef before also we can set it. Just go to the uh, main session, you have select the working directory, first set the working directory. So I have set the working directory. Now we will model this component. For easy modeling, I am just going to keep this fig figure left side. And uh, this software in the right side. Then we can easily see the dimensions. First we will start with this flange. <coughs> Here they have given ortho two front view and side view, right side view. By using this, we just want to draw this component. First, we'll start with this uh, cylinder portion with a diameter of 350 and the thickness is 60 mm. I'm just taking the front plane, sketch, sketch view. Take the circle with the center and ends. Now we got the circle. The diameter of the circle is 350. Press enter. Just save OK. Then go to the extrude. Make it here symmetric. The thickness they have mentioned here is 60. So just provide the 60. Press enter. Just rotate you will get the thickness. Just save OK. Now we have created the cylinder. Then we just go and um, model this cylinder with a thickness of 100 with a diameter of 200. Any side we can take. I am just say, taking the back side. Surface. Sketch sketch view. Take the circle, create a circle, press the roller to confirm. The diameter just modify into 200, press enter, just say ok, then extrude. The extrusion thickness is 100 mm, just provide 100, press enter, just say ok. Then we just want to create this keyway cut with a radius of 50. Select the surface, sketch, sketch view. Take a circle. Now we just want to provide the value or radius. Just go to the dimension. Radius is 50. Then we just take a rectangle. Zoom it here. Here we just create a rectangle which is symmetric. This one is a symmetric rectangle. Here you can see. This small thickness is 20 and this height is 11.01. .01. This one is 20 and this one is 11.01. .01. center. <coughs> now we just want to remove the unwanted segments by using a delete segments. Just remove it. Now we got the pink surface. That means that our sketch is completely closed. Just save OK. Extrude. Change the direction. Here we make it to next. Just rotate and see the check the component. Just press the roller to confirm. Now we have created this key wicket. Then we just want to create this slot. Here you can see there is a slot which is 50 mm width and 30 mm height on this side. So <coughs> select this plane. You can see I have taken a mid plane, sketch, sketch view. Just see the cut section, take a reference of this line, then close it, take a rectangle, somewhere here, just make it like this. This height is 30 and uh, this width is, this is not symmetric actually, first make it symmetric. This point, 
this point should be here now this width has to be all are equal it made just delete it this dimension is 50 make it symmetric of this first make it equal these two are equal delete this one this also delete it these two are equal and these two are equal instant we can delete and recreate it so, <coughs> Take a rectangle, simply put the rectangle. Now make it symmetric. This point and this point and this line. Now we just want to specify only the two dimensions. One is this one, this is 50, and this one, this is 30. Just save OK. Here you can see we have created at the midplane. We extrude options here. Make it to next material removal here also make it to next material removal just press the roller to confirm now we have created the slot here you can see all the features of we have created just hide all the planes just go here shading with edges standard orientation now we have created this flange <coughs> now just save this component just file save as save a copy here you can see the file is going to the working directory I'm just naming one underscore flange <coughs> like that we can name it then just file close it <coughs>